okay we see that the the video file that I've just uploaded into YouTube is now available right it has been processed right the upload has been completed uh, YouTube is now processing the video to make it uh, sh sharper right sometimes if you view it immediately it looks fuzzy right so to access the video I just go to this website and the video should be available now okay okay so the video is now available so how do I make this video available to students of course the obvious way is to click on the web address Control C to copy it then simply e paste this link into your email and email the link the website address or the URL to students right so that would be the um, easy way to to make the video available right but a more slightly more sophisticated way would be to insert the video into a website right so I'm going to use the ask and learn LMS right right so uh, let's create a a lesson or a course right let's create a course oh, sorry wait. let's create a less okay let's create a course right sorry let me check okay do I have a course on uh, gravity not yet so I can create a course on gravity course right create course I'm, I'm going to create a course on gravity physics h2 uh, I'm gonna give it a systematic name gravity so I think it's chapter 11 gravitational field a short description study materials for gravity okay click on next right then I can start to add content right uh, the advantage of selecting a course is that you can organize your teaching material into sections so the first section I can call it uh, lecture materials so under this section, I can add resources. For example, um, I can add my lecture notes, right, uh, or my tutorial worksheets. I can use the flash doc format because uh, under using this format, students will not be able to download the file, thereby protecting uh, our college's uh, intellectual property. Gravity. Let's choose the tutorial for for starters. Upload. Okay. So now the tutorial is available, right? But right now this video is about how to insert video. So let's create another section called enrichment. then I'm going to add a resource the video resource right so I'm going to use the video that I've just created so web sorry uh, video YouTube because I've used YouTube to store the video right um, where is my video this is uh, let's see this is not okay never mind I can just use this as an, as an example video right so how am I going to insert this YouTube video into the uh, LMS right so the LMS is uh, does not allow you to paste the web address directly which is rather strange right so the only way is to
copy the title, highlight it, control C. Inside the LMS, uh, paste the title of your video into this text box and then search the whole internet for your video. And you should be able to find it. Rather strange. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's search for another file. going to just use this video okay uh, oh a, a simple way would be simply just search your own username in uh, YouTube oops what's wrong here oh, I made a mistake okay add resource add YouTube video search for your own username in YouTube that will allow you to find all your videos in YouTube um, choose the video you want and click on the green arrow small green arrow right so click and the, the vid then save and the video is now available here right so you just click on next Right, as usual, uh, set the permissions. So I'm going to make this video available to physics H2 JC2 students. So uh, I, of course, I want to allow the teachers to see the video. So I click on physics for teaching staff. And um, for the JC2 students, I will choose the physics H2 and the physics H1 students. Right. Of course, I can also choose the JC1 students if I wanted to, right? Okay, so submit. And you can set the, the viewing period uh, the, the, to perhaps to limit the, the window uh, in which, during which the video is available. Okay, so you click next. And you can then go back to workspace or you can preview. Right, let's go back to workspace. And you can see the course that I've created is now available, right? So throughout the year, I'll, I will be able to add my lecture notes, tutorial worksheets, additional worksheets, uh, any videos I want uh, into this uh, course. All right, let's view it. Okay, you can see that the The worksheet that I uploaded just now is now available for students to refer to and the advantage is that um, it is not it cannot be downloaded right okay and let's look at the video I've created okay so you can see that the video is now available for use through the LMS um okay i okay so we stop here